and Snot Gurgle is always watching. I have two of these pet treat containers that I got at Walmart. You can turn this latch on top and it seals the lid. And this is for my Neoholophile Inse olives that I got from Dean's Tarantulas back in September. Here's my first little and inse enclosure. I've got a couple pieces of cork bark, kind of forming a little tent there. Lots of things that they can anchor their web on. Ventilation at the bottom. Should give them a lot to web up. So for my first one here, I'm gonna just remove some of the stuff that's in the enclosure. down there. So this one must be number two. And there we are when I put the lid on. Uh, the little one got spooked a little and moved down into the foliage. The NNSA tend to web a lot. So it'll have plenty of places to make tunnels and hide out. And I think this is perfect. This is the enclosure for my Neoholothele NSA number one. of cork bark, all kinds of anchor points for the webbing, and the water dish. This one is a little more elusive, not sitting out in the open like the other one. I do like to know where they're at. So, this one So what we have is a big mass of webbing here and uh, the little one is inside. Cork 
Alright, there we are right there. With the old up and around. to be quicker than your spider, I guess. <laughs> All right, now if you will just go down inside, this is the skittish one. times there because I didn't want this one to run up my arm and go down my back to avoid a little bit of a disaster. Uh, water time. At least we did just a couple of little short um, spurts instead of one long run away like my pumpkin patch did. Great. I think that, that it's going to be very happy in here. We were able to stay one step ahead of that little N inse and get it safely into its new home. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video. There's more to come.